Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very exciting video of exponential equation, we are going to learn and solve one exponential equation x power square root x equal to 10. While solving this problem, we will see exponent, exponent rules, logarithmic, logarithmic rules and then we will conclude our answer through graph also. So let's get started without wasting time. I am going to substitute x as root x square. So let me write, I will write x as square root x whole square first. So I will substitute square root x square and whole power is root x equal to 10. Now exponent rule which is very powerful. I will write a power b whole power c can be written as a power bc. Now our equation will convert root x square root x power 2 root x equal to 10. That exponent will get multiplied. Now let me substitute root x is equal to suppose y. So equation will convert y raised to the power 2y equal to 10. Simple. Now take ln both sides. So ln y raised to the power 2y equal to ln 10. Okay. Now property will come that is logarithmic a power b log a power b this b will come as a coefficient b ln a okay so our equation will become now 2y ln y equal to ln 10 now if you will observe y ln y is there so we can write y as exponent form so how we can write y as an exponent form? I will write y as e raised to the power ln y. Once I will write e raised to the power ln y times ln y and that 2 will I, I will take in the denominator of right side. Now it is recalling the form of the Lambert W function. Let me write in the appropriate order ln y times e raised to the power ln y equal to ln 10 over 2. Now it is recalling Lambert W function. That is, if function is in this form k e raised to the power k equal to suppose a, then it is the form of product log form or log product form. So this is called Lambert W function and value would be k W function of right hand side a. So anything which is having form x e raised to the power x that can be written as x then you have to consider Lambert W function of right hand side. If suppose it is a then we will write a. Okay. Now our equation will become, now I will write ln y e raised to the power ln y equal to ln 10 over 2. So left hand side if you will observe we will write this as ln y. Left hand side will become ln y as you can see in place of x it is ln y. So that value will come as it is. That should be equal to Lambert W of right hand side. So right hand side is having ln 10 over 2. We will write as it is. Now from equation, earlier equation you can substitute ln y or you can directly write value from here. E would be equal to e raised to the power w ln 10 over 2. So our substitution was there. We substituted 
root x is equal to y. So x value would be, we have to find out the value of x. So x would be equal to y square. That means our x value would be y square. That means e raised to the power w function ln 10 over 2 that whole square. Okay. Now using Wolfram Alpha tool or any other tool where lambda w function can be found, find out. So we will use that tool and that value is coming out 3.45 2627614. This is our solution value. That is our solution actually. And now, if you will observe, then this value we evaluated. Other forms we can write in this way also. See the value coming out up to in infinity, it is that is irrational after decimal it is not coming out repeating or terminating that is coming out continuously and this is the alternate forms once you will take ln then 2 square will come out different forms are possible and this is number line representation this value is 3.45276140714 1, like that Okay, this is how you can find out using lambda w function and how powerful the tool is. This function tool is. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Give thumbs up. Bye-bye. We'll meet tomorrow in the next video.